Before we begin with the video, why don't you do me a personal favor and go ahead and spank that subscribe button. Just give it a good old spanking. You know, it's been a really naughty, dirty button and it needs a good spanking. Hell, if you're if you're a new subscriber, you can spank it multiple times. Just keep freaking spanking that button. Just make sure you spank it uh, an odd number of times because we want you to end up on uh, the subscribe section. Hell, if you're even a returning subscriber, you can spank that subscribe button. Do you can give a good old freaking spanking on the spanking on the bottom, on its button bottom. Unoriginal videos will get you views on YouTube. That's what we're talking about. Let's fuck this shit up. Original, present or existing from the beginning, first or earliest, and created directly and personally by a particular artist, not a copy or imitation. Now that we got that out of the way, why do I believe Mr. Paper Free Chris, a man on the internet with an opinion and a face, why do I believe that if you put out unoriginal content, it will get views? So the first two kinds of videos I'm going to use as an example as videos that are pretty much unoriginal are gaming videos and commentary videos. If you are reacting to a video game or a movie or a video or whatever, what you are doing is taking an original piece of content, something that you did not create and something that was not your original idea, and transforming it into a piece of content that is now yours. And while legally it is transformed enough and under fair use that it is now your piece of content, it still relies on the context of that original piece of media. And thus, that means that it is unoriginal because without that original piece of media, without the original ideas that that piece of media gave you, you would not have a piece of content. I'll also mention that doesn't mean I'm shitting on anyone that does games or reaction channels. That's not what I'm doing. I'm just pointing out that maybe your content isn't as original as you thought, and maybe you shouldn't call it original content, or I don't even know what the fuck I'm saying. Now why does this content get more views? Well, it's because it's easy to produce and easy to consume. On YouTube, the more content you put out, the more views you're gonna get. That's just basically how the platform works. So if you are able to produce something easily and just put it out there constantly while keeping the persona and the person behind that content the same, then you're able to build an audience very quickly and thus your view count and your subscriber base and whatever will begin to rise steadily. I mean, I mean, unless you suck at it, you know, if you suck at it, then no, you're obviously not gonna get views. Or maybe you will, clickbait's a thing nowadays. Now, Chris, you might say, what about something like a prank video? You know, something that takes a familiar format, but puts their own unique spin on it. Well, I would argue that that's not original because of basically what the fuck I just said. You haven't created something that's wholly your own, wholly your own ideas. You know, the first of something ever. All you've done is taken a format that's very flexible and changeable and transformed it enough, again, similar to, you know, reactions and gaming vids, enough that it becomes your own piece of content. So I can prank someone in the most unique way possible. You know, I could prank them by pushing them out of plane and then hitting them with a train and then they bounce to the moon and back and why are you a prank? Push us to prank! Your prank can be the most unique thing in the world. However, you are still taken from a format that has existed in the past. You are doing something outrageous or hilarious with the intent of getting a certain reaction of an unwilling participant. Okay, Chris, how about this? I am a short film director, writer, whatever. I put out a short film onto YouTube and I market it well, maybe I buy some ads. You know, this video can get views. Why, why couldn't it? Markiplier created a short film not too long ago called uh, Wilford Motherloving Wharf Stash. Great name, by the way. You know, this is a video that does not borrow from an existing piece of media, nor does it necessarily borrow a format that we've seen before. You know, it is a short film that Markiplier wrote. He directed, he edited it, the characters are wholly his own, the situation is wholly his own. He bends the rules of the universe in a very interesting way that is wholly his own. You know, on paper, this is an original idea. But Whether Markiplier intended to or not, he subconsciously borrowed from lots of different mediums that we see in popular culture every day. Detective films, satire films, three-act structure films, uh, short films uh, with bending rules and uh, a twist at the end. Markiplier was not the first person to pioneer these kinds of ideas. 
All we did was borrow them, transform them enough that it's his own pod of an original idea and put it out there. However, again, since these ideas came from something beforehand, they cannot be original because they're not the first example of something like this happening. So Mark Abayer's video is unoriginal because he subconsciously borrowed from other pieces of media in the world. However, it still got good views. So again, going back to my original uh, hypothesis, hypo yes, hypothesis, um, if you create an unoriginal, unoriginal piece of content, it is going to get views. So Chris, what you're arguing is that Mark Abayer's video was unoriginal and it got views. Yes. And what you're arguing is if you take a familiar format, put a little twist on it, it's unoriginal and it will get views. Yes. If you create a reaction channel based off of an, an existing piece of media, it's not original and it will get views. Yes. So what you're basically saying is all content is unoriginal and it will all get views. Yes. Unoriginal videos will get views on YouTube. All videos are unoriginal and all videos will get views on YouTube. Ain't I just a wise guy?